Okay, so my stuff finally came for uh, my Goisha immersion. Remember, I had to order. Got so much shit. I had to order all these uh, workbooks and everything, so I had stuff to record in them because I didn't want to just go out and just buy, you know, random journals and all that type of shit. So it got delivered to my mom's house. Well, it got delivered to my house, and I thought I was gonna be home to get it. But I came home and then I didn't. It's like as soon as I came back here, it showed up. I'm not the course figures. So I just had to wait and have my mother send it to me. Um, here in Ohio and a box just came today. So I have two well, I'll tell you how I have my pal is right here. My brother's pal is on a couch. So I have the meditation journal. I ordered all these are from S. Connolly, so they're from her shop because that's where I, I mean, it's the Damon Altry, so I do everything through her. So, all this is from S. Connolly. So, this is the meditation journal, and all these are going to be used specifically for the Goisha, they're not going to be used for anything else. So, the meditation journal it gives you yada yada yada, it lets you know who the journal belongs to. Matter of fact, I'm going to turn you around so you can see it because you're not going through all this. So Letting know who it belongs to, how to use it, and all the good stuff. You gotta crack it open. Uh, little meditation tips. So you have a couple of pages of those. Camera, working with here. And then this is when you get into it. Because this is my second one I've had. I have one that is for my personal use. But like I said, this is going to be for my uh, immersion. So I had the, the description, date, duration, why you chose it, how you felt before. You know, it gives you stuff that you, it gives you questions. So that way, you know, sometimes when we're in the mood, well, we're in the zone. And we don't really recognize what's going on. But once we come out of it and we start writing... Then we know exactly what's going on and we start getting more details. So then this is just a blank page. And then it just goes on. So this is the whole thing right there. So this is the meditational journal. The next one is the Rituals Record Library. Libri, whatever. It's a ritual record. <laughs> it's the <laughs> book of recording your rituals. So again, move this over here. So you have a blank page. You have who it belongs to. The day you start it, then it has the ritual name, date and time performed. So that way, if you happen to perform it again, you can realize, okay, well, I did it on this day, this day. And, you, and it may be like, oh, that's probably why it didn't work. Wrong mute, moon cycle. The timing wasn't right or anything like that. The season wasn't right. Uh, people you participated with. Moon phase. The name is invoked. Incense recipes that you used. And then, of course, you have the oils. How you set up your altar, which you may want to have for next time. Any ends or invocations. Sigils that you have used. And your steps if you just want to. If you're not doing like um a whole theatrical performance and you're just getting straight to it. You'll have your ritual steps here, which will be easy for you to take a look at later. Then it has other preparations. Ritual script. Because sometimes I know I can't remember shit. So I always have to look at something when I read. Only time I don't look at something is when I'm just doing it on the fly. But if I'm writing a ritual down and performing it and it's something that I'm scripting, then I have to read it because I'm not, I just cannot, it, it does not work well. I mean, my mind just don't like that. More observations and ritual results. And then, of course, that's the whole book. Next one. Now, I am working with the four kings. So these are the 30 days of spirit work for each king. So I have four of them. The Magician Journal. A little sim card out the way so again open up the book get your nice blank page and i've had these books before i of course because i've been just like this it's between, i don't know but this is my final time working now i keep i keep forgetting how long how many times i've done this but it tells you how to use it then it gives you specifics, again, who the journal belongs to, when it began, when it concluded, any of your personal notes that you want to make while you're doing this. Then it goes on to your self-preparation, 
regular preparations, more preparations, conjuration notes, and then more notes. And then actually goes into the spirit. So this is where you go by any ings, not ings, but any sigils or any basically any sigil work that you want to work, coins, whatever it is, pictures, whatever. And you just have all the information here that you'll fill out, that you'll look up, that you've researched, or that you feel is how it is. Especially if you're making, if you're not making up your own, but if you're working with um, beings that nobody else has worked with that you have contacted, then of course this is definitely going to help you. And then of course you have it if they're doing a cliff audit. If you're doing that. Not all of them, not everybody's going to be working through the system, but yeah. You have the notes, blood, ritual notes for research. More notes, of course, this is like the little altar, meditation notes, and then ascension, observations, and other. And then you get to the work. So then here it tells you about the ideas for the journal layout. I'm going to let you read that because I'm not reading it. And then it goes on to the day. So when it says 30-day working, you're working with a spirit for 30 days. So will you actually do something every day? You may forget and be like, shit, it's been four days and I haven't done nothing. Either stop and start all over again or pick up on day four and then after the end of the book, just come back to those days. It it all depends. I know I do my shit differently. But day one is still the meditation. Day two is the offering ritual. Day three, two seals of patents. And I'm going to go through this whole book. I ain't going to keep reading it. I'm trying to figure out the rest of them because I have, can't quite remember. Yeah, okay, yeah. The rest of this is just actual, just ritual work. So, yeah, so you have, was it the first, is it the first 10 days? No, the first seven days is preparing you. Then after that first week of preparation, then you enter doing your rituals every day, doing something every day. So then you have some more suggestions of what you could do, your ideas. Then for people who are not used to working with the spirits, here's some information that you can have if you haven't worked with spirits before. And then of course you have no, so you have ample, ample space to write and get everything that you need. So, cause I always utilize the blank pages as well at the front and back of the book. So you have those. So this is going to be for each of the Kings. This is the spirit workbook. Now, the spirit workbook and uh this is the Goetian one. I just took the hard I took the um the jacket off, but I did get the hardcover. I did have the one I have at home is the ring bound. And I have everything stapled to that one. So um I think I'll be going home in the next probably like the next few days. And if so I'll grab it and I'll bring it back with me. So you can see the difference. So but yeah, so this is the hardbound. So this again has everything that you need. It has the same beginning as all the other ones, as all the other books that I've showed you. Except this is the difference. So you start with the four kings. So then you start with the Mindman. It has all information. It starts with um, his first sigil. Okay. Then it goes on to the next king. And it gives you the different variations of the names and the colors. Then you have Guap. Then you have Zimar. Zimimar. Or right, you can tell, it's a lot of different names. After that, then you get into the 72 de uh, demonic names. And again, with all of them, it starts the same thing. It gives the name, the sigils, and more information. So here you get what it is. He's, uh, his rank is king. It tells you basic, the basics that you need to start working with him. And for some people, if they actually want to work with them during that time, then that's probably what you're going to do. 
Me, I'm not going to work with them during this time because I've done that before. But I just will be do- working with them. So when I actually start to do my actual rituals, this is when I'm actually going to do with them after I do finish doing all my research. So you have that and it goes all the way. So you have Hall 72. Then as you get to the back of the book... It gives you this appendix. So it gives you all the kings. It breaks them down. So if you want to work with nothing but dukes, if you want to work with kings, if you want to work with demons who are violets, if you want to work with demons who have the moon sigil, um, the the planet moon, if you want to work with um, demons whose metal is tin, whose incense is with the storax, then you have all that there. So she has all those, all that extra good stuff and then of course again more notes so there's no reason why you have like not enough preparation now with the spirit workbook everything is the same at the beginning like it is with all the other ones but it is blank so this is when you're just doing your own spirit name how i would utilize this is if i have so much information that I need a filler over. You know, not like, well, I'm not really like a filler over. But I think the way that I'm going to work this is I'm going to use this pretty much as like um, the research side. And that way I can go ahead and make some modifications. You know, I'll have, you know, the ones that have been written down and then my own personal ones in here. So that way, when I go to the Goetia, I could go ahead and just add everything in once. But this is going to be kind of like my messy version. My messy version before I put it into the hardback book. Do I need it? No. But I like to keep stuff organized. So if I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, these are the colors. These are the vocations that I want to deal with. I don't want to sit here and always have to be whiting shit out or doing something else. So that way, I can sit here and be like, okay... This is the information that I grab from all these other books, all my other research. Everything be sitting written here. I'll have notes and stuff written in here, more meditation notes and everything um, that I may need once it, if I don't have enough in there. So it seems like it'll be complicated. But of course, for me, it's not because I know what I'm doing. I know how I'm going to work everything. But I am going to have... I am going to have my research which would be in this book because this one it'd be easier I could take with me because it's paperback so I could easily take this pop it in my purse and yes I have a bag big enough to put this book and probably some others because I'm a planner girl so I have tons of planners I have like my planner pouches pens at well that has like my planner tools and then it has like washi and all these other types of stuff that I have so I have I have a lot of shit so I always just have everything with me so I'm going to use this like I said to just put all my information that I gather because you know you go through different resources and that's with me I have a lot of books I have a lot of resources so I could put that so I could put everything that I have from there or or the the process can change a few because I do have a new set of deities that are coming in a new set of deities that have been waiting for 10 years and I have been pushing them away not ready for them because I was I was nowhere near the level I am now to be dealing with them so now that I'm at that level and I'm getting a little bit strong well I'm getting a little bit stronger and more focused and everything then I could go ahead and be like all right I'm ready. I'll, I'll just go ahead and start. So this is what this can also be for. But how I'm going to use it now is the Goetic way. And when I'm working with the demons, they're going to let me know if somebody's coming in like, hey, you're going to work with you're going to work with this demon. And then after here, so I may not actually go in order. It just it just all depends on how it goes. And wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. 
how to get my iced coffee in my hocus pocus tumbler why because why not um so i got that why is everything on the floor what am i doing right there everything on the floor so i got my pen and also along with that i have the goetia deck remember i told you i brought this and this was going to be included in my goetia working so i have i don't think the four kings are included i don't think the four four kings are included matter of fact i know they're not included i know that they're not included but i know lucifer lilith Yeah. They're not included in here. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I knew they weren't included. So, but these will be used when I do the. When I start working with the Goetia. When I start working with the Goetia. But when I start working with those demonic powers those demonic entities i just want to make sure because i could have sworn <sighs> you know what it's funny because i was watching a video well yeah i was watching a video and they were and the person was looking up some stuff and i'm like we well, just hurry the fuck up and find out what you had you should already had it up here and look at my ass doing the same motherfucking thing well not quite the same thing but I wanted to try, I wanted to see if they did have anything there. Um, no. I could have sworn Corson, Grab, Zemo. Okay, I could have sworn that I seen Guap, Goat, whatever. I'll have more. I have more um, workings with the pronunciations I work with them. But I could have sworn I seen one of the kings actually within. Maybe I was seeing things? Yeah, I was looking at the wrong one. I thought it was. That's Corson. Yeah, see, I thought it was Goat, but it's actually. Yeah, G. I thought it was G G O A P, but it's G A A P. Actually, no, it is him. Okay, so he's the only one that does have a card in the deck of Goetia. He's the only king that has a deck. He's the only king that has a deck. Look, I'm already looking because I'm like, I really don't want to write in this. Um, Goetia Terror. And Terror. Wish a tarot deck. So that way, number 33. Okay. So that way, when I do look into it. So, okay. So, that's. Mm. So then, the other ones, the other three are not in here. And they're not spelled differently because, I mean, they, they, they're nowhere near spelled. So he's the only one. Hmm. It's interesting. Very, very interesting. Huh, I wonder what it is. I'm going to figure that out. Well, I see the only king that is actually in. Look, I'm still looking to make sure that I don't have the name spelled differently. And I could have sworn. Maimon or Corson, but on the other page, it's your, your kiss on Maimon. I remember why, but I forgot. I forgot, but I remembered why. That's what I'm going to say. Okay, then we have you. Or Payman. Payman, I think, is... I don't remember him being in here. And No, he is in here. I deal with so many freaking demons that I, you would think after all this time I would know exactly everybody that's in here. 
but I don't because I have too much stuff going in my head. Too much stuff leaking, leaking out. Why did I think he was in here? See? This is what happens when you work with too many demons. He is in here. His name is just spelled differently. See, I knew it wasn't going too crazy. I knew it wasn't going too crazy. All right. Okay, so you're number 33. And then you're number 9. So, depending on who it is. So, I can... I probably, I probably will switch out. Since um, Gap is already in the actual demonic work and since he's actually already in the 72 and see so it's payment and see this isn't or no one two Let's see i don't know Let's see i know for a fact you're not in there so i can just switch the names out see this is, gonna, this is something, because I knew there was something I wanted to do last time I, when I said I was going, the last time I was going to work with them. I was going to work with the ones that are actually in Agoisha and then take a look at the kings because the kings are, two of the kings are repeated in the Goetia. The other two are not. That's <sighs> why the other two are not. Kind of what she was not for the quarter. That'll help me a lot better. Yep, I was right. The other two are not in. The other two are not in. But um, two of them are. Actually, one, two... You're not in. You're not in. Actually, one of them is in. Because, see, the king of the rest is either going to be payment or gap. Go out. We're not, going, we're not going to discuss this shit. Deal with it. So, it's either one of those two are of the of are the rest. And, like I said, they're both in the 72. So, I'm trying to... Hmm. See, I could use payment because he deals with... um. Like creativity and arts and music. And I definitely want to add music into my working. So I could. Hmm. Me and my, me and my brother are going to discuss how we're going to go about it. I'm going to run my idea by him, see, see what he thinks and see what his input is. And then we'll discuss what we're going to do. Cause yeah, my man, I have a lot of information on him. I don't have that particular book of shadows with me, but he does have a, like a few pages in my uh, BOS. Hmm. Coursing. I'm just trying to make sure that they're the same name, like. Your urians. I know for a fact he's not in there. Uh, I could just do a Mayan. Well, no. Well, well because see, for a Maimon, a Maimon, he is listed as the king of the east and king of the south, but I don't remember that. Like, I used him before, like, right now. I, granted, I did use him before for both. But, where the fuck is my book? I got like all these fucking books. Where the fuck is my damn laundry book?
There's room in Bustle Bay. I bet you the book is hiding. My books tend to hide. But I am going to look it up. But yeah, so. I don't know. It's either going to come from. It's either going to start with a go a goetic a goetic a goetic immersion, and then move on to either start with that and stay that, or it's going to start as a goetic um, a goetic immersion, and then once that's finished, once me and my brother finish it, I'll probably add on my incoming deities. But it's so much information here, and if I need to. I can actually just go ahead and order a second, uh, order a second spirit workbook because, as you could tell, we already have we have so far. I have one demon that has two different correspondences, two different um, color associations. He's going to be associated with each thing, depending on the way he's... It's, it's going to be different ones. So, it's still going to be a lot. So, I'm going to have to grab... Actually, no, I don't have to grab my other one because I have a lot of information. So, I think this will probably... I don't even think this will be enough. Okay, it is. This is... Okay, so I didn't even tell you how much it is. All right, so... And the hard, hardback edition of the Glacier Workbook. It is a total of 324 pages. So, it's nice. It's nice and big. Like I said, it does. It did come with the jacket. And the jacket is just black. It's just a flat black. And it says, Goetia Workbook. That is it. It's, it's, nothing spe it's nothing spectacular at all. And then you just have it stamped and it goes on the side. But, I like this because I can utilize the front as well. I could do blood magic with this, have it soaked into the binder, which is why I like it. So I do have that. Then for the spirit workbook, this is 226 pages. A little shinier, but it'll still work. Then, of course, I have my four 30 days, um, 30 days spirit workbooks. Keep dropping goddamn pencils, and like I said, the, each book is for a king, and it has 53 pages. Again, nice shiny material. It's easy to take with you, easy to fold up. The next one, of course, is the ritual record book. Ah, this has 250 pages, so this gives you everything you need again. Easy to take with you and a nice little um, coil. This is what my Goetia book looks like. It's as big as the is as big as this Goetia workbook, except it is coil, so it has it's softer. So, but it does have the coil, and I've had that thing for some years. Like, I think it's coming up on ten years, and that sucker is still held together. And then the next one, next and last one. Is the meditation one again with the coil and this has oh does not have any page numbers to it which i guess is okay so i'm guessing if this book has the ritual book has 250 i'm gonna say this may have like 180 maybe 180 give or take 20 pages so yeah, so these are all that I have for the Goetia working. And, of course, the complement of the Goetia cards. Uh, I think that is all that I have for working with them. I don't think I have anything else that I want to contribute. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, me and my brother, he has sent me um, an email of somebody who had actually made a Goetia chips. I was that the one that I like? Because I know it was one of them that had the higher, it had the Goetia Harky, but it had the Ducante symbols. And I didn't like that. I don't, I don't want it differently. I want it the same. 
So the symbols that it had, I, I didn't like how it, it was like two systems mixed together and I didn't like that. But I think the one he sent me had everything that I was looking for. So that's beautiful. So I think... <clears throat> if I do get it, well, I'm going to be here. I, I extend it again. My final final time extending. Um, they extended me once, so I extended twice. So at least this way I can actually have stuff ordered here to the hotel. And then I'll be, uh, it'll be fine to go. Mm. What else? Um, that is it so far. All I think I'm going to do is like I do with all my other ones, fill out my name. The purpose of my book. Um, I'm gonna do some blood magic to mark the books. Um, um yeah, I'm gonna put blood magic mark the books. They're gonna sleep with me tonight. The cards are officially going to get marked. My brother should actually receive this set because when I was in Michigan, he had ordered his, and then I just happened to go back to which one we go to? Earth Lore? No, we went to the Boston Tea, the Boston Tea Room. So I just happened to go back a second second time, yeah, and saw this deck and just picked it up and didn't know that he had ordered the exact same deck. So now that we have, now that he's going to get his set and he has his cards, we're going to start the blood markings on him. So once I mark these, of course, I'm going to do what I normally do for seven days. What I do is um, when I go to consecrate my cards... And let me take them out. Normally I throw the book away, but I'm not throwing this away because this is going to help me. Or I put the books, like put them somewhere else. But what I do is I go through, kind of like with my other deck, my other tarot deck. So I'll be using two decks. This right here is an Economicon deck from Donald Tyson. This is my personal tarot deck. I do my readings and my readings only from this deck. This deck is bonded to me, has blood on it. I have been using these for some years now, probably. It may be coming up on 10 years too. It may be coming up on a decade, but I've been using these cards. They are tuned to me and they will only work for me. So what I did with these cards that I'm going to do with this one is I marked, I held them, took the blood, just went across them, but then I also went through each individual card and marked it with blood. So, um, I will be doing that. And normally, when I have a deck this big, because sometimes you know your oracle cards really aren't that much. I don't mark. I don't do my oracle cards with blood, but my tarot cards, yeah, not all the tarot cards, because some of them I have, I just don't feel a connection to and I normally end up giving those away or using those in readings for other people but just like I did with this deck this deck is going to be marked using my period blood because I'm not sticking myself 78 motherfucking not 78 times but I'm not going to stick myself like 30 40 times and try and squeeze all the blood out that I can I will fucking exhaust myself so the easiest way for me to mark my cards my tarot cards is to use my um my period blood, menstrual cycle, however the hell you want to say it. That way, I could just collect it. And I could collect it in one of the bowls that I use specifically for that purpose. I could go ahead and mark each card. And when I do that, I just sit there and I just talk to the cards in my mind. I don't say anything out loud because I, I just never have. It's not really my thing. I like to have that time. It's like a meditation, so I really don't want to hear nothing going. I may have some music going on. After I mark all the cards, um, I wave them. Just let it dry a little bit. But I don't mind if the blood gets on the back of the other ones because the whole damn thing is going to be marked all the ways around the blood. And then all the cards are going to be marked with blood. So, yeah. Then after I do that, I take the decks and I sleep with them underneath my, um, my pillow for seven days. And whatever dreams I have, yeah. Sometimes a certain card will jump out, or if I grab a card, it'll start moving on me. Or, actually, which would probably be a better thing is, if I was to take, now, 
said for the 72. So y'all are going to have to go. So these are the 72. These I'm not going to work with. Because they aren't in my workings. They're not included in the workings. Because we have Lucifer. That's not in my working. We have Lilith. It's not in my working. We have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups. <clears throat> and the Ace of Swords. They are not included in my workings. But I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to use the elements, the elemental ones. But I think I will have Lucifer and Lila. Lucifer, Enlightenment. Definitely going to have that because this is going to be kind of like the overarching thing of my work is to enlighten myself to get a little bit better with my um, with my abilities, my gifts, and Lilith because this is my spiritual mother. Why would I not have mom watching over me? Um, and then of course I'm doing blood magic. So yeah. I think I'm going to use these two. So then I'll just uh, I'll have the main bulk of the cards. So I have my 72 cards here, which I am so excited to use these cards. Like I said, I showed you all the cards before. But what I was saying before I interrupted myself, because I, I do that. I actually need to do my tarot cards. I'm trying. I pull, I'm pulling a deck. I'm pulling a spread every day. Probably for the rest of the month. And I'm, sometimes I ask questions. Sometimes I don't. It all depends on how I feel like it. But I think what I will do. Is use the. Spirit of the Magician's Workbook. With, the, with these tarot cards. So. Let's see how that will go. So, of course, the spirit, of course, the spirit names are going, they're going to be matched with the demon because I can't be working with um, a maimen on one and then at the same time working with Belle. It's, it's, it's not going to work, so. Whenever I work with, I'm going to just go ahead and after I mark them, work with them and everything, bond them to me, get everything situated, I'm going to start to put them in here the way they are in the Glacier book. So that way it's easy for me to work with. Which is not hard because in order, 1 through 72, I mean, that's that's how they start there anyway. So I just put them in there. But I can definitely, t and see what I like is that it's uh, kind of a blank slate. So I could definitely take like the planetary the planetary symbol which is for bell which is the sun his astrological which is aries and his element and i'm so bad at the elements like the triangles i think what is what is the element triangle isn't that fire yes because it's aries come on shayla get, get your shit together get your shit together <laughs> but as you tell, i'm not perfect i don't know all my shit but i to get it when i got it <laughs> put, put the clues together so then I'll have the fire here. So I can put that, which are these symbols right here, are going to be put into, as you can tell, it's going to be put into this right here. So then all this information, everything I'm going to do, is going to be off of me working with these cards. Because these cards will also be worked, to, worked with while I'm also working um, on the 30 days, working on the 30 days of the... Um, of the uh, the demonic so i'll have a tarot card for a whole 30 days normally i do 72 days for my tarot deck or 52 or however many cards come in my tarot deck depending on what it is i don't really do it too much for oracle decks mm, every once in a while i'll do oracle deck but not really too much i have more oracle decks than tarot than tarot decks and that's going to change i need to have them balanced out just because that's how i want it but it's going to be interesting i mean Working with this for 30 days, that's a lot. That is a lot. Because 
the colors because everything everything from the actual demonic from the demon itself is going to be put up here um invocations everything the tarot because this one also resonates with the king of wands so that would be written here the stones and all the type of stuff and then when it starts to do the ritual notes and everything that's when it's going to be me of just working with the card itself just sitting out there and whatever comes to me comes to me that's normally how i do my tarot cards i'll sleep with the card um i'll sleep with the card for that night i'll carry the card around with me that day and then i'll just see exactly how my mood enhances this is going to be a little bit different because it's going to be 30 days of working so it's going to be 30 days of me doing the oils doing the meditations doing the evokations doing the ascensions doing the herbs you know just reaching out and just getting to really research and understand the demonic divine and how it came about and all that type of stuff and just seeing where my mind takes me so it's going to be very intense and i'm looking forward to that because i like to know i want to be thorough i want to these cards are slippery i want to be immersed i mean who don't want to know what they're working with some people feel that they don't need to do this. Okay, go for it. I don't give a fuck. Because y'all ain't fucking feeding the finance in me, so I don't care. But when it comes to my personal practice, my personal preference, I'm serious about my shit. Some people are, some people aren't. You know, so just don't feel that if you aren't doing anything what I'm doing, that you aren't serious about your craft, because that is not how it is. I have people who've been working on some of this shit for like 15, 20 years. And I've just been working on mine for like the past 10. Now it's going to 11, 12 years. 11. Yeah, it's getting up there now. But I'm starting to focus more. Starting to refine and practice and get everything situated. So it's a lifelong practice on what it is that you want to focus on. My focus is uh, my comedic Damon Altry. Definitely the comedic side. Take a while, guess. Only because my family uh, lineage and history. Mm. Necromancy, of course. Blood magic, of course. And oracle divination. Because I have asked for enhancement on my psyche. On my um, psychic abilities. I can hear. I can see. Um, I can taste. I can smell. I can bring shit out from a dream into real life found that out the hard way fucked me up but hey they haven't done it in a while but every once in a while yeah um i can um i like to call it shadow walking or gate walking because i see both i see the shadows during the daytime i see them walking i see them in a the mirror like i'll have what i did is i had my um crown on and took my eye took my glasses off because i'm damn near blind without my glasses on and i had my moonstone over my third eye and i just stared into the mirror into my own eyes and you know being a scorpio being a water sign we're all we're already you know cancers and pisces we're already psychically enhanced we're, we're water. We we have that fluidity. Yeah. You never know what to expect if you was to t open up really open because my psychic eyes already way open me. Um, this what it's about. When you ask for something, make sure you be careful what you wish for. I can see pretty fucking good. Yeah, so I, I work with that now. But just imagine with the moonstone on your third eye and you're staring at yourself staring at your eyes in the mirror as a psychic as a medium the shit that I be doing is just so, when I was younger it was fucking stupid but now that I'm older I'm a little bit more wiser you know so If y'all saw that, y'all saw that. But, mm hmm. This is my working. My brother is involved in too because we are 
we're like this. Our paths are damn near aligned. Um, he is more on the lichen side. He is he's a light no, he is a lichen and I'm vampire. Our paths are still aligned. So this right here for us to work together on something is is really, really, really is really gonna be fun. So I have all my stuff situated. I got my tarot cards here. Tarot of the darkness. And it's so and he has um the guy that created this one, what's his name? Fabio. I follow him on Instagram. As soon as I see news, I went ahead and follow him on Instagram. And he has a a more um um a more teaser, a more teasma death. More at uh, Santa Morte uh, death deck. And I want that thing. I want that fucking deck bad. I'm trying to be good. I'm trying not to spend any extra money. Because I could go crazy. I'm already going to go crazy. Because I have to buy. I don't have to buy. But I'm choosing to buy stuff for my students. Oh, shoot. Buy stuff for my students. For the festival. So they have something to take with them when they go home um, okay let me put y'all in front so so that's what I want to do tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to get my nails done again I'm going to get a new take these off get a fresh set and get another Halloween design then I'm going to go to the dollar store which is right next door and I'm going to pick up some items that I need that's going to help for the immersion and for the silent festival. Then I'm going to go to Walmart, which is right next door. And then I'll probably stop by the bookstore, which is right next door. I'm going to try not to spend a lot of money. But you know, you could go crazy and broke in a dollar store and a Walmart. And a bookstore I'm going to is called Half Price Bookstore. So the books, like the Egyptian uh, Book of the Dead I got by E.A. Wallace, it was like six bucks. Beautiful, just beautiful. There are cost sections kind of, eh. But it's good enough. So, yeah. But that's about it. I just want to show you. I um I was going through and starting to write and everything. And I was like, oh shit, I forgot. I forgot. I need to go ahead and record this because this is what I will be recording. Because I am going to work on um work on what are they called? The playlist. So the Goetia immersion, which may be changed to just a demonic Im immersion, is going to have its own playlist. So every time a video gets uploaded, it'll be uploaded also to the playlist. So that way you can see everything in order. The books, um, I need to remove some of the old book reviews. Because I think it was a couple that I needed to read there. I cannot remember. I have the list written down somewhere. But I know I'm going to add all the new ones there. So I'm just going to start adding stuff in there. Um, as I'm making crazy stuff, I'll put them up there. Then, of course, they're all everything's going to be eventually in a playlist. I hope to try to up update a playlist every couple of months or every quarter. Because I know I'm not doing that shit every week. I know I'm not. Um, once I finish here, I'll be home in January. And school starts for me on January 8th. A fucking Saturday. Like, who starts college on a Saturday? I don't, I don't know. But I'll be off of work, like, that first month of January. So that way, I probably won't be recording shit. I may or may not have to, like, go to the store. But I ain't going to be doing no damn extra stuff. I'm going to take those first three weeks of school. And I'm going to sit there and I'm going to get my motherfucking classes and everything situated because I have some classes. I think I'm going to take three classes. Because I'm changing my major again. Well, not well, I'm changing it back to what it was, but it's going to be a double major. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take one of, like, one of the prerequisite classes that I have. And um, just start to get that shit situated. Because taking chemistry organic chemistry online is very disrespectful. Grant is going to help me in my spiritual life and on my spiritual path and on my professional path. But organic chemistry online is just very fucking disrespectful. Like, who said organic chemistry 
is already disrespectful to begin with. But to do the bitch online is considering that you get like 150 to 200 pages you have to read per week, and this is not a lie. This is not a lie. Because I took the class the first time, uh, along with three other classes. I don't, I don't know why I did that. And I got a D in that class. Because working 40 plus hours, four classes, at the beginning of the pandemic, it's when I decided to go back to school, you know, when the shit really hit the fan. Yeah, mm-mm. Especially I work in a hospital. You know the bullshit we had to go through? Trying to figure out what the fuck is going on and then trying to do home with the str- at work work stress that's the fuck out. I'm surprised they even survived. I'm surprised they even passed that fucking semester. I can tell you that right now. I passed that bitch. Not probably by the skin of somebody else's teeth, but I passed that bitch. And I ain't never do that shit before. So to take or get 150 pages of organic chemistry, read it. Not to mention the 40 fucking pages this bitch gave us in homework. The 30 pages in practice homework. And then the 17 problems in the lab portion of the class. It's like, bitch, you, you do know. Th- th- I'm not 18 with nothing to do. I'm a grown-ass motherfucker when I'm working. Along with half the motherfuckers in the class who are like in their 30s on up. We, we got families, work, responses. College is college must think college is not for kids anymore. Not to understand everybody in college is at least thirty five and up now. We going for our second and third fucking careers. Hell, maybe even fourth. But man, mm-mm. it's gonna help me when it comes to me wanting to create some bonds and do some blood magic and uh, work when it comes to the demons, which I'm totally for it. But I'm not looking for it. <laughs> But yeah, so I'll do my, I'll try to upload, upload my playlist every quarter. So for this, since it's October, that means I'm not going to do the playlist until the end of the, I could possibly do them on the Thanksgiving holiday break because I don't think I worked that because I'm, I'm off that weekend, but I don't think I worked Thanksgiving day. So I could possibly do it there. Because I know I'm not doing this shit this month. Because I'm going out of town for the weekend. And then I'll be in Georgia at the end of the month. And then I have guests coming uh, November. Like the first, like two-thirds of the month in November, I have a guest coming over. Uh, so that leaves me the holiday. And... I don't work Christmas either. Do I? I don't think I do. Either way, hopefully with November, December, you'll start to see the playlist pop up. But other than that, don't don't count on anything else from me because I'm not forcing myself to do it. Book reviews will come up, but I think I'm going to try to do at least two books a week. I mean, shit. A month. Not a week, but a fucking month. Like, I'll probably read them and schedule them, but I'm going to try to come up twice a month and try to do everything differently. So, that said, uh, this is now the second longest video I've done on my channel. Because I ain't never done no shit like this before. So, enjoy, and I'll be back. Whatever. Mm-hmm.